my, my way of relating to mindfulness is to see, okay, there are a lot of different ways of understanding this. And I don't know that one of them is the correct way. I don't think in those terms anymore, but uh, I do think each of them does reveal something interesting about mindfulness itself. And of course, I think here, m most of us are very familiar with the, the secular definition, um, John Kabat-Zinn's definition of mindfulness, you know, non-judgmental uh, awareness, moment to moment, um, bringing this kind of, kind of almost empty, uh, agendaless attention to whatever's present, uh, which also implies heartfulness, um, because to, do, to be able to do that, we have to be um, warm, you know, we have to actually of what's here to some degree enough to, to tolerate its existence certainly um so i think that's implied in that definition the non-judgmental awareness um, um and it's very approachable it's very accessible it's very easy to see why that is a, a useful thing especially when we live in a culture of hyper distraction um and so i think it, it's cool to see how that um that definition operates and at the same time, and this is one of the critiques from the Buddhist side of the mindful, mindfulness, what, what An, Professor Anglade called the mindfulness wars, um, which is that the, the term sati also has the strong connotation of, um, of recollection or remembrance. Um, and you could say, well, you're just remembering to be aware, right? Remembering to come back and be non-judgmentally aware. That, and that is true. That's part of it is remembering to come back to what you're doing. Um, but the what of what we're doing changes depending on the frame that we're using to understand the practice. Uh, what in traditional Buddhist terms would be called the view, the wise or right or correct view. Um, and so I think the way that we view mindfulness is the way we practice mindfulness. Uh, and that, that's why the, these view and these definitions are quite important. Um, and, and from a traditional Buddhist perspective, part of what we're recollecting is we're recollecting the basic frameworks that help point out the different aspects of experience and the way that 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 our experience is constructed or in this case you know in the social context co-constructed 